grateful and uh, a little overwhelmed by uh, those uh, words of endorsement and the tremendous support from the Lehigh Valley, which uh, stand behind me today. It is an extraordinary group of uh, political leaders uh, to have the uh, Lehigh County Executive, Don Cunningham, and the Northampton County Executive, John Stolfa, and the Allentown Mayor, Ed Pawlowski, and the Easton Mayor, uh, Sal Panto, and the State Chairman, uh, T.J. Rooney, and the Northampton Democratic Chairman, Joe Long, and the Lehigh Democratic Chairman, Rick Darty, and the Bucks County Chairman, John Cordisco, who got out of a sick bed to, <laughs> <laughs> to come here. Uh, getting dressed this morning was a full day's work for <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, uh, Chairman Cordisco. And uh, it's, uh, it's very gratifying. It uh, makes me feel like the 231 visits that I've made to the Lehigh Valley since election to the United States Senate have been very, very worthwhile. Uh, uh, they've been noticed. And it is great to have the endorsement of President Obama, Vice President Biden, Governor Rendell, uh, but I do know that it is in the trenches where elections are won or lost. And I feel very good about coming back home. My story is a typical one. Both parents were immigrants during the Depression, very hard hit. They were FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Democrats. And I was a John F. Kennedy uh, Democrat. I wanted to run for district attorney and was told that Philadelphia did not want a tough, honest district attorney. I know that will shock you. <laughs> <laughs> and for a long while, I've tried to bring moderation to the Republican Party, and uh, candidly, it's just not possible. When the stimulus package came up, and I took a look at what was happening to America, and saw that we were on the brink of a 1929 depression, I simply was not going to stand with the Republican Party. And as uh, John Cordisco said, uh, that was uh, the breaking point. And I'm glad to come home. And I feel very comfortable as a Democrat because, as my record shows, I voted more often with the Democrats than with the Republicans. I supported the woman's right to choose. I supported extending unemployment compensation. I supported increasing the minimum wage. Uh, I supported the lead better fair treatment for women. I bucked President Bush on embryonic stem cell research. I bucked President Bush on uh, Guantanamo. I bucked President Bush on uh, uh, habeas corpus. Opposed President Reagan on uh, uh, Judge Bork, one of the most important votes, uh, landmark to keep the Supreme Court of the United States focused on civil rights. And I've been to the Lehigh Valley to help out with uh, providing jobs here, long list of federal grants to help on jobs, long list of federal grants for my senior position on appropriations for the area's universities and for the area's hospitals, and grants for the airport, and grants for the roads. There hasn't been an item in the Lehigh Valley that I haven't uh, touched, uh, touched personally. And the first senator to open a branch office, and you know what Deputy uh, Senator Adrian Baker Green has, <laughs> has meant to this area. And, 